Hello, and welcome to iClone Tutorials, iClone 2.5, and Magic's Movie Edit Pro, setting up a realistic scene using live footage and the chromo keying method. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a chromo key effect on a rendered AVI output from iClone 2.5 and place it inside Magic's Movie Edit Pro over live footage. This is a scenario that is easy to set up in iClone using a single scene and a solid blue 2D background. Magic's Movie Edit Pro makes it easy to capture or import live footage and overlay it using a single video mixing effect. Together, iClone and Movie Edit Pro provide a solution for everyone to include live action elements along with virtual scenes and characters in their next movie. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one. Open iClone and create a scene with a window or an opening that you wish to fill with live action footage. You can find preset walls and floors inside of the iClone library. Go to Scene, Props, Template, Props Folder, 3D Blocks, Wall and Floor. You can use these if you wish or create your own. Step number two, apply a blue screen background to your scene. Go to Scene, 2D Background, Modify, and then select a medium blue color swatch. Step number three, now export your scene for Chromo King over additional live action footage. Go to Export, Video, AVI Format, and choose DVD NTSC 720x480 output. Click on Best Render, and finally the Export button. Name and save your footage. This will create your foreground footage. However, you will need a live action clip of your own to see the overlaid effects in Movie Edit Pro. Any AVI will do for this purpose. Choose your compressor and click OK. Step number four, open Magic's Movie Edit Pro and name your new movie, then select the OK button. Use the recording button to capture footage from a digital cam or use the import button if you already have footage ready to use. Step number five, click on the import file button to import iClone foreground footage. Navigate to the footage and then click OK to import. If asked to attach the clip to the movie, say attach in order to add it to the project. Step number six, click the edit button from the top toolbar and locate the timeline mode button at the bottom left hand navigation. This will show you both clips placed on the timeline back to back. Grab the foreground iClone avatar footage and place it under the background footage. This is very important to place in the proper order to view the video mix effect. Step number seven, select the effects tab and click on the video mix effects folder. Locate the blue screen effect and then drag and drop it onto your foreground footage. Step number eight, right click on the chromo footage and select video effects to open the video effects menu or use hotkey shift plus Y. Step number nine, use the zoom and position tools to place the overlaid footage, then use a low threshold setting and a low fading range setting to fine tune the chromo mix effects. Then click OK. Step number 10, make sure both of the clips have the same duration. You can edit the clip's length by scrolling over the edge, then click and drag to match the shorter clip. Step number 11. Finally, export your movie. Go to File, Export Movie, Video is AVI, then navigate to the file location. Make sure that your file size and resolution is set to the proper settings, and then click the OK button to begin the render. Compositing is made simple using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Keeping the process simple enables users to quickly and easily combine real-world elements with virtual assets. Using this method can create lots of virtual variety in your next production, as well as open many different options for various scenarios. iClone Studio and Movie Edit Pro are tools that work great together for developing this type of video creation and editing. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.